it's, it's an honor and a wonder to be here tonight. Thank you. Note 169, tender. When Claudia Tate interviewed Gail Jones for Black American Literature Forum, she asked, do you have any theories about the human condition which you dramatize in your work? To which Jones replied, I think what comes out in my work in those particular novels, Corregidora and Eva's Man, is an emphasis on brutality. But I think that something else is also suggested in them, namely the alternative to brutality, which is tenderness. Although the main focus is on the blues relationships or relationships involving brutality, there seems to be a growing understanding working itself out, especially in Corregidora, of what is required in order to be genuinely tender. Perhaps brutality enables one to recognize what tenderness is, end quote. Tender, the girl who wrote on the chalkboard, the boy who was carrying Skittles and iced tea, the girl who was by herself and surrounded by hate, the young woman who was asleep in her bed, the young woman who drove the wrong way and the baby girl who survived this, the man who cried for his mother, the girl who took the video of the man who cried for his mother, the other girl, the cousin of the first girl, who also witnessed this, the boy who was skipping away, the woman convulsed with mourning and the woman who warned them not to take her picture, the girl who told her mother that she would take care of her, the boy who had only just arrived at the gazebo to play, the girl who was sound asleep in her grandmother's living room, the girl to whose forehead someone taped the word ship. The woman who questioned why she was being stopped. The woman pulled over with her three young children in the car. The woman who knocked on a door and asked for help. The boy who was walking down the street. The woman whose two little sons were swept away in a flood the door to their safety barred, the man who was running down the street, the boy who was playing music in his car with his friends, the boy whose mother was anxious when he did not return home, the woman who fell, the girl who called for help, the man who yelled, mom, mom, the man who said, I can't breathe, the boy accused of shoplifting and his mother whose heart was broken. The man who said, I'm scared. The girl's sisters whose bones became lessons. The girl who emerged from the rubble and asked, are you taking me to the cemetery? The doctors and nurses working without bandages, without anesthesia, without safety. The children who held a press conference in English and said, we want to live. The girl who said, I am a child. <laughs> 